Just when you think the Anderson pervert scandal can't get any worse, it does. <laughs> uh, start out here on the, uh, this is the Stephen Anderson family blog spot done by his wife. Um, can't keep her breath warm, wife. Um, how to not wear a face mask at Costco or elsewhere. This is April 29th, 2020. She starts out here, I am not against face masks. To date, our church has sewn over 1,200 surgical masks and approximately 200 cotton masks for use by medical professionals and the public during this pandemic. There is no pandemic, okay? The whole thing's a stinking scam, all right? You can, you can get the virus and be asymptomatic. You don't have any symptoms, but you have the virus that you could die from, but not really, because 94%, you know, survival rate. Uh, but, you know, and right there it shows it. There's the... Uh, different women there at their Babel building. Um, closed it for, you know, church services, but it's reopened to sew the face masks. <laughs> yeah. And you say, well, they, they don't go along with it. Steve especially. Well, here they are at the airport. Going to the uh, Red Hot Preaching Conference thing. And there's Steve. Well, look, look at Steve, though. He's brave. Got to give the guy credit. He's got guts here. Look at his nose is sticking out. Wow, this is a guy that's, he's not going to take the mark of the beast, you know, he's, he's a brave man, a brave preacher. Comes out over the years with his little attacking, you know, FEMA churches that go along and do what the government tells them to do. And then he basically proves the years later that he's going against what his little patriotic thing does. But uh, from what I've heard uh, through different people sending me things and whatever else, Anderson's two oldest sons that were involved in the, the uh, perverted texting scandal um, got shipped off, shipped off to stay with their grandparents for a while. Now, I'm not sure about the one set of grandparents, but I know that Anderson's, Stevie's, uh, well, they couldn't have gone to his wife's grandparents because that would have been over in, or her parents, excuse me, because that would have been over in uh, Germany or wherever it is that she comes from. So it had to have been Steve's grandparents, which actually are members of Jiminy Cricket. Roger Jimenez's uh, little Verity Baptist Church. Um, and it's interesting because his boys are basically, comes out that they're raging perverts, um, saying really sick, horrible stuff about the young girls in their church. They get shipped to stay with their grandparents, from what I've heard. Grandparents go to Jiminy Cricket's church, and guess what uh, Roger Jimenez just came up with? I mean, it, it, it just boggles my mind. NewIFBSingles.com, a ministry of Mary Baptist Church. <laughs> I just think, you have got to be kidding me. Came out with this thing here, and so, you know, I guess, you know, this way that they'll have better access to, you know, young girls and things that can date and whatever else, and the Anderson boys, maybe they're the ones running this thing or something. I mean, just think, it can't be this bad. It is. There's a little Jiminy Cricket right there. Um, but you get down through there. Uh, do you attend an old IFB or a new IFB church? Independent Fundamental Baptist. Which is funny because Anderson tried to deny that he's part of the, or that he founded the new IFB. And then he comes out in other videos and he, you know, says that he founded it. What's the name of your church? What's the address of your church? What is your pastor's email address? We will be contacting him for verification. Because <laughs> if you go to a Baptist church, you can't be a pervert of any kind. Baptist churches are very strictly against perversion. Don't forget it. What's your date of birth? Uh, please briefly write your salvation testimony. Tell us about how you got saved. Well, that shouldn't take real long for most new IFB people because they get saved by, you know, saved by a praying a prayer or just believing or whatever and things. Yeah. Do you believe that salvation is something that you have to earn, work for, by doing good things or by not doing bad things? <laughs> yeah. Do you believe that someone can lose their salvation by how they live their life? If you are a male, do you have a job? Say some things there, but we won't. Um, if you answered yes to having a job, are you currently able to support a family? Well, that depends on how good you can scam people with your Baptist church. Really. Um, have you been married in the past? Uh, you can have fornicative relationships and be a sex pervert, but, you know, that's just not technically marriage, so we don't know. But, yeah, you know, just, again, I'm making these videos to warn people about this whole system. If you're in it, get away from it. I mean, I've been, I've been attacking these people for years, this whole new IFB satanic cult thing. 
Uh, just insane. I, big, bold Steven Anderson. Not going to take the mark. Steven Anderson going to preach against the Antichrist system. He'll be here for it and the whole deal. Face masking. You know, making his son and I guess that's daughter-in-law or something. His other children all we all have to wear them. Yeah, you know. But he's going to stand up when the Antichrist comes. Don't worry. And uh, you know, making face masks in their their little battle building cult thing down there. Uh, and then his boys get caught in a sex scandal. Ships them to his grandparents or his parents, Stephen's parents. And if they're there, Verity Baptist Church, they form a singles website. Ugh. Unreal. I mean, you know, it gets to a point, honestly, if you're deceived by the new IFB, if you're in it and you're saying, oh, I don't see a problem with it. You know what? You deserve the deception. All right. You deserve to have problems. You deserve to have your children preyed upon. Okay. Just like Roman Catholicism, which is ironically very similar to the new IFB. If your child gets raped after you've been warned and warned and warned, you deserve it. Your child doesn't because they're innocent, but you know, you deserve it. You deserve the bad that comes on you. If you if you're still in this cult here, you deserve whatever comes to you. That's all I have to say about that.